How to turn Dollar Tree hula hoops into an artistic eye-catching lighting. Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be starting off with an empty box. I'm going to be making a hole in this box for the lighting. I'm just going to go ahead now and create an opening in the middle where I'll be inserting hula hoops inside. I'm going to be adding foam boards inside this box so that it will be thick enough to hold the hoops. I'm going to make a hole that's going to go right through all of the boards. I'll be covering the sides with marble contact paper and the top with gold contact paper. For the sake of uniformity, I'm going to be adding a gold tape on all the sides of the box. I'll be using three hula hoops for this project and all I'm going to do is figure out what shape that I would like it to look like when it's standing on the box and attach them together with screws. When I was done, I spray painted it gold. I'll be attaching remote control LED lighting to the hoops. And the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. This is self-adhesive, which makes it super easy to apply. What I had at home was a 50 feet long LED strip, which is too much for this project. But the link for the LED that I attached to this video is 20 feet long for those of you who would want to try this DIY out in your homes. So a 20 feet long LED strip should be enough for three hoops. I will insert the leftover inside the box and attach it around the inside just so that I can have lighting as well inside instead of just closing it up and hiding it inside the box. I made sure that when the hoops go through it will be snug to keep it in place. Now I'm gonna connect it to the adapter. I made a little hole under the box so that the wires can move freely. You can use a strong adhesive to keep the hoops in place together with the box, but I left mine the way it is because it's perfectly tight inside the box. And from time to time, I will be removing it to change the base. 
I decided to add beads to what I already have here and beads as well to cover up the rough opening on the box. This looks like an artistic display and it's even more interesting because it's got lighting inside. For those of you who were turned off by the dots of lighting here on the strip, I left a link down below with an LED strip that does not have those dots around for you to use if you don't like the dots around the lighting. I prefer this lighting with a longer base just to make it look more like an artistic display, but however it is you choose to keep your base for your lighting, it's totally up to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.